In my last video, I showed some shots that I got with my new favorite lens. I was pretty proud of these shots and many of you agreed, but one of you out there commented, hey buddy, clean your sensor. So in this video, I'm gonna clean my sensor. I'm gonna show you the easiest and safest way to do so. But first, I wanna show you a simple way to determine whether your sensor needs cleaning at all. Now, in order to run this test, I'll put my camera in camera mode and I'll set the ISO to its lowest 100 and I will set the f-stop manually to f22. I'll open up the aperture to two seconds because I'm gonna want it open for a long time and I'm going to set the focus all the way to infinity. Then I made a uh, PDF, a blank PDF, and I've just put it up here so I could get a white screen. And then I just simply take a picture of that white screen while I move the camera around just a little bit like this. Yeah, that's all there is to it. This way, I get a relatively exposed photograph on the back, but I only get what's on the sensor and not what's on the lens. So let's open it up in Lightroom and see what we got. Now, when I pull it up, I can see that there's a spot right here and there might be some others, uh, maybe one down here. Let's just see. So we'll turn on the uh, spot healing brush and then there's this little section here that says visualize spots and we'll put that on then. Oh man, I have a lot of dust on my sensor. Now the a7 IV has a neat trick that the curtain comes down when you take off the lens so it's hard to get to. So you're going to have to go into the menu and turn that off. So in toolbox under setup options we have anti-dust function and then we have uh, sensor cleaning and we take that and we turn that on. And there we go. Make sure that you have a full battery before doing this because um, it won't actually work unless it knows that it has a full battery. When I take off the lens, I can actually see the sensor. Now I bought the sensor cleaning kit from Altura for $29 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. And it got a bunch of stuff in it that I probably will never use. Uh, but one of them is this little blower and they suggest that you blow it off before you actually clean it. Probably perfect now. So it comes with these little swabs. Let's see what's inside. That's what's inside. Interesting. It says to spray this one to two times, so. And now we brush it across very lightly in one direction only. Turn it over to the other side. Well, I think that was it. Let's see how we did. All right, here we go. Taking a picture. All right, going into Lightroom again. And there's that. And now for the moment of truth, go to the spot healing brush, visualize spots. <gasps> it's a miracle! <laughs> Okay, I am thrilled with how easy that was. Just a spray on each side, wipe it across, turn it, wipe again in the same direction to get the entire full frame. This kit comes with uh, five of these uh, little uh, swabs, as I recall, but these uh, swabs are also replaceable. You don't have to buy the entire kit. I will have a link in the description. If you got some value out of this video, let me know with a like and subscribe, but also let me know when is the last time you cleaned your sensor. I've learned two things now. One, it's pretty easy to get that dust off, and I've learned a way to see whether there's dust on my sensor in the first place. So if you'd like to go back and watch my previous video where I show off this lens and see all the places where I have a dirty sensor, well, you might want to check that out over there. If not, hey, thanks for stopping by.